nationally syndicated radio host Nancy Skinner are with us here tonight. Who wants to go first? Nancy, why don't you start us off? What are you thinking of BAM and company? Well, look at Dennis, remember when you go back and what they inherited? You had that one meeting with Bernanke and Paulson and Bush, and they uh, they went to meet the press, and the, nobody could, it was unspeakable. They saw the abyss, the horror of the meltdown, and no credit was moving at all. Remember those days? And they, it was like a baby cry, and they just fed it candy, $700 billion, uh, out the door on a three-page memo with no restrictions. Obama had to come into that with Geithner, and they had to sort this mess out. Credit crisis, housing crisis, uh, you had the, the recessionary, the off the cliff, and put it all together. So I think it is amazing what they have been able to do in such a short period of time to get the credit going again. So the, you had Nuriel Rubinio out there, Rubini's out there saying, you know, that we're going to have a run on the banks, okay. and we've got the shadow banks, and look where we are now. Gotcha. You're talking about the markets are rallying. I'm getting your drift, hey, Jane. Yeah. Come on, give Obama his props. What do you think? Well, you know, I, I don't agree with that at all. As a matter of fact, I don't think credit is flowing as freely as it should be. I mean, clearly, uh, President Obama and Tim Geithner put the stress test, this bank stress test together, I think is a confidence builder that the markets can withstand and the banks and financial institutions can withstand greater, you know, stresses, in, in other words, greater losses, more mortgage losses, more credit card losses. And I think they're showing us one little piece you know, we're now hearing that this stress test performed better than expected. And so we're all now supposed to cheer and, and, and congratulate each other that the banks passed this stress test. Well, well the reality yeah. is that 10 of them, you know, did not pass. Nine of them passed. 10 of them have to go and get more money, $75 yeah, but not a billion. Whole lot more. I mean, I was surprised it wasn't a lot more, uh, Jane. And let's, forget, let's not forget that the LIBOR spread, that overnight bank lending uh, rate versus, versus treasuries, is at its lowest point since before the collapse of Lehman that started everything going down into the trash heap. Hey, Nancy, people yeah. can criticize the stress test. And by the way, Nancy, do you trust the stress test? Well, you know what they did? They had some pretty serious assumptions, 10% unemployment. But here's the deal. What they did, Jane, is they lifted the fog of uncertainty. He had another alternative. He could have done what FDR did, shut all the banks down, and then try and open them one by one. That, what, what the stress test did is that like nobody could touch anyone's books. Now, all of a sudden, we know. They're opened up. There's transparency. That fog has right. been lifted. We can move on. And okay. that's the beauty of them. Hey, Jane, you know, sometimes perception, <laughs> image, is very much all as important as actual reality. What about that? What about the idea that the stress test made us feel better? Not convinced? Yeah, no, I, exactly. That is exactly what it was meant to do. As a matter of fact, take a look at President Obama's budget. He released the budget yesterday for 2010. A massive amount of spending. But what did we hear? $17 billion in cuts. So every spending story came along with this spending cut story. It's just a piece of the reality. It's, it's like a magician. You know, pay attention to the shiny, uh, shiny object I have in my hand when the total reality is that there's still stresses on the market. But Jane, and things have but not Jane, improved all but Jane, that much. But you got to admit, you have to spend, when you're in a downward deflationary spiral, everyone, conservatives, liberals, you've got to spend that money. You're going to pay it down, and that's why he had his cuts. He's going to reduce it by half after four years. But if you didn't spend that nightmare scenario, the nightmare on Wall Street, that whole story that everyone was talking about would have happened and we wouldn't be talking about rallies or stress tests right. or anything. No, the reality is the only thing that's going to improve this economy is when people start spending again. I'm they don't have there. confidence in the markets. All right. Thank you, Jane and Nancy. I just wish maybe we weren't spending the $787 billion stem pack. I'm not sure we need it. I wish we could chop it in half. Thanks for being with us tonight. Sure. Straight ahead. Our tax money has been pouring into the big three automakers, right? But some of these guys have been adding jobs overseas and slashing them here.